Hi and welcome to this, uh, the first video of how to fly a micro RC helicopter. Uh, in this lesson I'm going to be showing you um, the basic controls of the helicopter and we're not going to be flying it just yet. Uh, so this, uh, this, this is just a video to tell you what to expect um, with if you, what if you order or buy a micro RC helicopter. Okay, so first the two things you always get are the transmitter, which is normally infrared for micro helicopters, and then the helicopter itself. And these can vary in lots of shapes and sizes, uh, depending on the amount of money you spend. Um, this one is made of aluminium and plastic here. Um, also, as well, these are always uh, counter rotating blades, and um, in some better models, you can get gy gyroscopes. And uh, the tail rotor blade usually is in the what you call it horizontal position to control the pitch of the um, aircraft. So now onto the transmitter. Now with three channels, you'll have obviously the three controls. And on these transmitters, you've got a throttle just here, and uh, these have got springs in them as well. But, um, there are some. I haven't checked this one yet, but if you take the controller, uh, the front of the controller off, there'll be a spring inside, which you can take off if you don't want the sprung throttle, which means you can hover. And then this is your bit pitch and your pivot left and right, so your rudder controls. And uh, so yeah, that's what it is: on and off button, channel selector, uh, power indicator, and then on this model. I'm um, quite fortunate to have a wheel for the trim instead of the normal buttons and also on this one there is a wheel to turn on and off the front light that is on this helicopter and uh, so just here and the, that's blue tack on the bottom because it's always a good idea to check your helicopter's balance because um, when I got mine it, it, like, it tended to fly backwards so I'll just put a counterweight on the front, blue tack's a good one or stuff like tungsten putty as well so, um, here we go, this is the micro helicopter and transmitter and also with these helicopters you get um, what's it? USB charging cables as well and um, if you've got stuff like Apple products and you've got a charger which plugs the USB into it you can use that, um, HTC chargers do that as well and also if you've got something like a Nintendo Wii, Xbox or a computer you can plug it into the USB. So yeah, lots of ways to charge it and also on the back if you open that little door is another charger to charge it from the transmitter but I wouldn't recommend it because it drains the battery. Uh, so I've changed my mind, I'm actually going to go on to flying and I'm going to show you some of the characteristics of a three channel helicopter. Okay so first thing you need to do is switch on the helicopter. You can see there's a strobe red light. So on the transmitter will be another strobe red light. Give it a couple of blasts of throttle. Put that in there. Okay, so that's working now. And first you just want to check that all of the motors are working. So that's working. And then obviously the tail rotor. working so I'm just going to go up into a flight and I'm just going to show you some characteristics. Okay, as I think you've noticed, uh, I just threw the helicopter into the iPod. Uh, but there you go. So that is the first video of the characteristics and controls of a micro helicopter three channels. 